Hi, it's John here from the Professional Nail School and Beauty Academy. Um, today I'm just going to do a little video um, about filing. Now, filing with a hand file. I generally use a mixture of hand file and electric file, but I'm just going to concentrate on the actual filing uh, with a hand file today. Now the files I'm going to use, uh, which I generally use all the time, is just a straight file. And that's a combination file, which is one side rough, one side smooth, so it's 100-180 grit. And the other one that people generally use is a, uh, a curved file with a curved edge and one straight edge. So it's just a, just a personal preference, that is. Now, um, as I always say, as I've, I've gone in previous videos, is just make sure you press your file before you use it. And of course, every time a film, an ambulance goes past, but never mind. Right, so just take all the sharp edges off your file so that you don't cut your client with your file. So don't forget to do that. And then you can just tap the dust out like so. So I've got some um, nails fitted into my dummy hand here and basically what we want to do is to file the nails to length. Now obviously we can use clippers to clip them short um, but um, when we're using the file to file the nails into this round shape like here so that the tip can be stuck on um, then Basically, you want to get the finger higher than your own hand so that you can come over the top of your hand like this. Now, I'm using the smooth side of the file and I'm going to use the center of my file, not the edge. So I will just go like this. Try to do the full length sweep like this. So you don't want to be filing like this. You don't want to hold it like this because then your hand's in the way and you can't do your full sweep. Get it from underneath and do your full sweep like this. And then you come back from that side. <clears throat> so again, I'm using the middle of my file and don't um, go all the way round in one go because by the time it gets to that little point there it's starting to drag on that corner and can cause a split to run up the nail there so you want to just go across like that so you just make it into a round shape and then just run your file underneath in one direction just to take off any raggy bits that may have gotten underneath and basically that's what you've got to do on the nails to get them ready to stick your tips on so that the well of the tip actually fits onto the end of here. So I'll carry on and do these other few nails and then we'll come back. Right, so the nails are now um, complete and in their shaping, the natural nail. And you want to leave a little bit of free edge showing. Don't go all the way back to the smile line. Just leave a little tiny bit of free edge showing. Now I need to now prep the surface. Now I usually do it with electric file, but if you're doing it by hand, hold your file like this, using the round edge here, and then just work on the surface in little circles to get rid of the shine. Now, obviously, you will have already have done your cuticles. So this is the stage after you've done your cuticle work. Just go all over. And let's say I'm pulling in a forward direction. The grain of the nail runs down, so don't file across like this. Okay, I'm always trying to work with the grain of the nail. So I'm just pulling it towards me, working on the surface to give a dull look to it. 
And basically what we're doing here actually is removing any trace skin that may be on the nail plate. Because that skin can be invisible to the naked eye. So we just want to get that dull look to the nail surface. Just by holding it like this. Okay. So that's that would be complete. Obviously, I would normally do it with the electric file. Right, so we can just dust that off now. And the next stage would be to dehydrate the nail plates and then stick on our tips. So I'll carry on and do the prep on all of these now. So my tips are all on and I'm now going to start shaping. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to do a simple square. Now you can see if you look at this, that this side's straight, but this tight side has kind of flared out a little bit. That's quite normal. It does depend on the roundness of the client's nails, which will make them flare out or not. But you definitely don't want them to be flared out. So I'm going to use the rough side of the file now. I'm going to place the file like this. I want to be able to see the top of my file and as you can see, the file doesn't drop off when I let go with this hand. That's because I want a channel to work through like this. It's a lot better than not having anything there at all because then you can just go all over the place. Don't file from the back like this. You, you, it, pe some people do do it, but you may find that you start rounding the sides off. So what we want to do is go from the front Keep it nice and straight, see the top of the file, and just go up the side there like this. Now this is why it's also important to pre-prep your file, in other words, take the sharp edge off, because this is where you would actually cut your customer. Right, so I want to come now this side, I'm going to work over the top of my thumb here like this, and I'm going to go up this side here like this. And I will keep examining it to see what how it's going. And I just want to just taper it in just a tiny weeny bit. Now I need to do the end of the nail. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to use the smooth side of the file this time. I don't want the nail to do this, so I'm going to grip it quite tightly towards the end. Keep the contact onto the nail with your file. Don't go like this, right? Keep the contact there so that you can discipline yourself to go in a straight line across, not a curved line. And just look at it. Just flick out any little bits from underneath. These little bits that sometimes build up underneath, flick those away with the smooth side of the file. And then just knock off the little corners with the smooth side of your file so they're not sharp because the last thing you want is a sharp edge. Now everything is difficult on this dummy hand. It's a lot easier on a real person, believe me. So then once we've got our, the shape that we desire, then obviously you go on to your next nail. Now, if you wanna watch my video on shaping, it will show you how to do all the different shapes like coffin and uh, ballerina, almond, round, and so on but this is a basic square and squares back in so that's pretty good okay so i'll get on now and just file all the rest of these nails
Once you've got all your nails on and shapes, what you need to do now is to actually um, take the shine of all the tip and then blend the line in. Now, normally I, again, would do it with the electric file, but I'm showing you hand file today, so you can do it with the hand file as well if you want to. Right, so to take the shine of all the tip, just support the tip underneath with your finger like this, and then just file all over the tip. And if you notice, I'm holding my between two fingers like this and spreading them out and going over like this. I will rotate the finger round as I go. So I just want to take all the shine off all the tip. Now there are basically three filing techniques that I use. That's this one, where I'm gonna hold it like this. I'll get these fingers underneath, out the way. And that's for filing across the nail like this. Then I will use this one, where I put the, the file inside my palm and put my finger on the top about halfway up. And then I will use this edge here on the nail, rotate the finger slightly, and I will come down off the top into those edges there like that, getting that edge of the file into the edge like that as I come round, like that. Now when you're using the round file, this one, it kind of does it for you. See, it just follows the shape down the nail. Like that. Again, I've got it inside my palm with the finger on the top. But when you're using a straight file, you kind of have to flick your wrist. So it's a bit of doing this with your file, right? The other one I use is where I've got my thumb on the top of the file. So the file's inside my palm and I've got my thumb on the top of the file. And I, and I will push the hand to one side slightly. I'll put this finger on my left hand on this area here to protect the skin. And holding it with my thumb on the top, I will use this edge here like this to come down into that side there. But if you notice also, I've got my thumb on the top, but I've got my finger on the side of the file. That's to give me some leverage. And I will swap between all those three. So I've got that one, finger on the top, that one, cross, got my thumb, and coming down like that. So when you get to used to using them, you can swap between them quite quickly, you know. And you just swap between them like that as you're going through the nails. Now when we're blending in this line here, we want to aim the file, so I'm using this one here, this one. I'm gonna aim the file just this side of the actual join, right? We don't want it on the line, because as you file across, your file automatically slides up. You can't kind of stop that happening. So if you get this side of the line, as you file up, the file just files up as far as the actual plastic stops. So what you do is you, you, when you file, you just lift your file off to stop filing the natural nail behind because that's the last thing we want to do. Right, so I'm just gonna file blend that in there. Then I'll go onto this shape and come down into these sides. Use this one. Come down into this edge here. 
and then the, that would be my blended tip. So let's just do another one. Here we go. Now, so I've got my this finger on the left hand, protecting the skin areas. Go over the top like this. So I'm aiming just this side of the line. Oh, it keeps coming out. That does. Come down this side. With finger on the top, thumb on the top, into this edge here. Finger on the side, see? Or sometimes you can put it around the other side like that if you want to. Make sure the shine's gone off all the tip. And there's another blended tip. So that's blending by hand. Okay, so I'll just finish off these other two. Right, so that's our blending complete. Um, so what I'm going to do now is to put some acrylic onto these and I'll do that off camera and then uh, I'll show you how I file the acrylic with a hand file. Right, so I've got my acrylic on now. Right, the first thing I'm going to do is just file up the sides like this. See, holding it either side of the file, like that. Filing like this, so I can see the top of my file. 
and filing from the front, not from the back. Okay. Just so would flick over to this side again, holding it between my finger and my first finger and my thumb, and go up this side. So I just want to get that in a nice straight line into the cuticle. Now what I'm going to do is to, is to put my finger on the top, halfway up the file, and, and file against this finger here, this one. So as I come round, I'm filing against that finger. That's to stop me slipping onto my client. So I'll come down into the side walls. And of course, when you're using the round file, it does it for you. See, it just follows the line round. Push the hand to one side slightly. Put your thumb here and file against the edge of your thumb here like this. Slide that down into that side wall there. So you're protecting the skin here. So now we're holding it there and I've got my finger on the edge. Remember we went through these before. Now I'm going to go across the end, hold it tight here, use this smooth or rough side, it doesn't really matter, and just keep the contact there on the edge so that you keep it, so you get a straight edge as possible. Now I'm going to go all over, this is when I would actually start using the electric file, but now I'm going to go all over the nail. I'm going to put my thumb at the back here to protect the skin area here. And I'm just going to pull these fingers out the way underneath. And I'm now holding it like this with my two fingers like this. Just put my thumb out and get these fingers underneath out the way and then file across in one direction. Don't go like this. One direction filing. As you go round, twist the finger so that you can go round the nail. And every now and again, I will swap over to that side, come over this side, check it. If it's a long nail, support the nail underneath. So I'm using those three filing holding techniques but all the time the fingers on this hand I'm trying to protect my client's skin. Now I'll get my block, it's quite heavy, keep contact on the block, don't go like this, keep contact on the nail, around, down into the corners. going to wipe them over with some acetone so I've got acetone on my, on my pad I'm just going to wipe them over and then while it's wet I'm going to reflect it to see if there's any dents or dips in it the acetone will just melt the surface slightly and make it even smoother. So I'm going to carry on prepping, uh, finishing off these nails. Right, so the nails are all filed and ready now, and I'm just going to pop a top coat on. That should bring out the colours and make the glitter zing. So I'm using a no white top coat here.
So let's just get that on the lamp for 60 seconds. So let's take them out the lamp and there's our nails finished. Not sticky because it's no white top coat. So I hope that was helpful and uh, if you need me for anything just give me a call. So it's John here signing off from the Professional Nail School and Music Academy. See you next time.